Dave, first of all, congratulations on your call-up to the Saxons. After being involved in some great team performances for Quinns over the past couple of months, is it nice to have this personal recognition? Uh, yeah, absolutely. But I think it's also team recognition. You look at you know Luke Wallace, Charlie, and myself, um, Will Collier as well would have been here, but for injury. I think it's a recognition of the, the, the good work that Conor O'Shea is doing at Harlequins. Um, starting the season sort of slightly down the pecking order at Hooker at Quinns. <laughs> Was this on your radar at all, even even in the distance? <laughs> absolutely not, absolutely not. There's no, I mean, there's no way it could have been. I mean, I was a third choice hooker, um, you know, what, sort of just looking for any sort of game time, whether that be A League or LV Cup. A couple of injuries and a bit of a, you know, sort of a bounce of the ball went my way, and um, you know, I get the call up, and I'm obviously honoured to be here. Having said that, you've made made the most of your time in the two shirt Quins. You're coming into this camp on the back of consecutive man match performances in the Heineken Cup against Clermont Scarlets. Can you credit your personal form to anything in particular? Um, I just think it's being part of a great team and a team that wants to play rugby. I mean, it suits my style absolutely. I want to play with the ball in hand. I want to get involved and get as many involvements, whether that's in attack or defence, playing for Harlequins and the style that they play and the sort of you know the. We get let off the reins, to, so to speak, with you know Tony Diprose, Mark Mevitoff, John Kingston, um, go and play our game. And I've been lucky enough to, to be involved in a lot of those games, um, partly due to injury and partly due to the fact that you know we've been going well as a side. Is that an attitude that you have to take into this camp to make the most of it? Do you think? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm hoping that that's what they saw in, in me that they want to bring to the Saxon Saxon squad, the ability to play rugby. You know, use the ball when it's on and uh, keep the ball alive and uh, basically starve the opposition of the, uh, of the ball. If we head back to the start of your career, Dave, you've represented England at under 18 and 21 levels before stints at several clubs and a longer period in the Championship with um, Cornish Pirates. Do you think you appreciate the bigger stage more because of that? Um, it's been a hard road back, absolutely. Uh, there's no denying that. I mean, wherever I, I, know I do appreciate it more, but I've, I realise how hard I've had to work to get here. You know, it was a long few hard years, a couple of three or four years where I wasn't even playing any rugby. Um, but then I went to Pirates and there's a big turning point where I ended up playing 110 games in three seasons. Noticed by Quinns and again, my first year at Quinns wasn't exactly a sterling success. I, d I didn't really play many games, um, trained really hard, put myself out there. And that's all you can do is prepare yourself and when those opportunities do come, you have to grab them with both hands. Is the next logical ambition to push for England senior recognition? Yeah. Um, I think it's in everybody's heart. It's always been in the back of my mind since I was a young guy, a young lad, you know, since I was five, six years old watching England. Um, but at the moment, I'm just happy to be part of this squad. And if I if I get any game time in the next couple of weekends, I'll be I'll be over the moon. Um, talking about sort of Test match intensity has become something of a cliche, but given how strong Ireland's squad's going to be and. Is that what you're expecting at King's Home on Saturday? Oh, absolutely. I'm, we're, I'm expecting a ferocity that you know is, is above Premiership, above Heineken Cup level. Those guys they've been training with the national side. They know, you know exactly how uh, Joe Smith, Joe Smith wants to play. Sorry, and they're going to come and they're going to tear into us from the, from minute one to minute 81, and it's going to be a massive test for us. If I get on the pitch for one minute or 18 minutes, I'm looking to show what I can do and hopefully take my club form into playing for the national side.